Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Lost a five goal lead versus Metza in the previous round. And oh no, that's a huge open net miss by Devo. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's just jumped in the ball and sat on it. Going too long. I think five errors is just about what players in. Oh no, they're doing it. <laughs> well, you guys who have been on my YouTube channel before have probably seen this, but Ocelot and Flores are really good at double carrying the ball. It's, an, it's almost annoying how good they are at this. <laughs> but yeah, Gfinity's and the the other online tournaments usually last about five hours. I think any much more, any much longer than that is a bit too much to ask. So. Oh my gosh, that was on the beat. There is uh, at least $50 in the bag for the winner of this. The loser gets nothing. Oh, what a recovery by Devo. That's really well done. Exceptional work by Devo. Not only getting the ball away from danger, but transitioning into a goal. That is one of the best goals that I have seen in a 1v1 setting. Ridiculous work. Devo was in such an awkward position, and he managed to recover, not just get the ball into a safe location, but put it in the back of the net. Whenever Flores has the ball on top of his head. And look at that. Even when Flores is losing kickoffs, he's still able to be first in the scene after the fact. He's able to save enough boost to stay relevant. But that is a 180 backflip flick if I've ever seen one. Holy cow. Ocelon ups the ante with this one. We saw a phenomenal recovery and turnaround goal by Devo. Okay, nice. Oh my god! Oh, Holy oh my fuck! Gosh. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nobody's watching the stream. That's Six. That's where Six went. Bipod and Spoonie. Glad to see you guys playing. That'll be cool. Uh, Six is a good third. I like that. You could see these guys possibly in rival series. I don't think you'll see them in RLCS. Same thing with these guys, even though Dudu and Ghostfire are both. Uh, well, shit. Why are we even talking about this? We got the best team in in Europe right here. These guys are gonna win RLCS just because they got Woody, best player in the world. No problem. It's just gonna come down to an error. A lot of these goals have been off of errors, and it's just going to come down to who makes that error first. Let's see who does make that error. Vince takes out Hato. Really, that could have been a double demo. What a what? shot from what? Soul! Huh? Way up high, and he somehow finds the angle to what? double the series lead. Okay, Eizel. It's a nice little shot. I mean, he can he can do that. Wow, Fibion. Whew. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, no, he did it! No, he did it! I knew it! No, he did it! No, he did it! That's why I fucking love this guy, dog. Ah! Yeah! Let's go! 
I saw him. Ugh. Getting a solo play onto the side of Strope. And they need to work together and coordinate if they want to get the goals and make it so that they stay alive in this tournament. Well, Justin now going for another shot, gets it right on top of all Cypher players and gets it down in time, extending this lead to two points. Really, really nice precision and touching of the ball. Gets that one through a minute to go. Cypher needs two goals here late in match number two if they want to keep their tournament life alive. The goal, but no. <laughs> Prior actually hitting that one away from Sham, and Sham had a good angle to finish that one off. Brizzy now off the backboard. is going to go right down. It's on net. Gets it down in time. Now, Enix back with this one-point lead. 23 seconds to go. Obstructs physics tournament life is on the line here. They're going to need to string some things together if they want to try to push this one at least into overtime and try to make... Are you ready to get serenaded, chat? <clears throat> what up, Pathman? And you, you almost scored at the end, but it didn't actually go through. Oh, I got so tilted to be right <laughs> when that happened because I got past like Trevor and then I pinched it mid and then I thought it was in. So I was like celebrating and then it was OT and I was like, no. Yeah. And Did then you... I thought they were going to score right off the kickoff in OT and then I would have been tilted beyond. I, I, I can bet that would be a very, very frustrating sort circumstance, but you managed to get the win there. You guys get the sweep here. Talk to me about how you guys felt going into this match. You'd seen Renegades perform. You'd seen them go to game five against Flipside. Was there any fear on your end? Your Actually is going to have survived this whole tournament. Yeah, I, I, I was going to mention the double commits, but then Hato goes with two fakes and... <laughs> now this and is then he just does it in. <laughs> That'll be the slowest goal we've oh. ever seen. With the defender sitting in the net. I think Vince's brain just exploded. Darkfire bumped into him too, because Vince just didn't know where to go. He's stuck doing the cha-cha slide net, and Hato was just like, I'm just going to dump this straight in. There is uh, at least $50 in the bag for the winner of this. The loser gets nothing. Oh, what a recovery by Devo. That's really well done. Exceptional work by Devo. Not only getting the ball away from danger, but transitioning into a goal. That is one of the best goals that I have seen in a 1v1 setting. Ridiculous work. Have no fear, chat. Have no fear. Did I tell you, chat? A rebound attempt, and that's taken by Darkfire. Now Hado's going to try his luck. All three members of Fibion had a look at it, and all three have been turned aside. Now here's Zol, round please. two, and Zol just floats one in. At first it was Hado who just turned 180 degrees to try to put it in, and then Zol gets that hard touch that Darkfire did not anticipate. I think he thought Zol was just going to carry it, and then Zol gave it a hard tap and chased it down. Uh, and it's hard to say whether or not he intended for early goals right in the first minute. Darkfire going to set up another one for Sathew, and he's oh. thrown it just wide off the post. Yeah, Sathew should have made that shot, and really, Lichinio hesitated at the last second. A duck down into Epic Johnny gives Strobe their first goal of the game. Justin getting up right against the backboard. You're just a nice little play by him, throwing it right down. Uh, but Lichinio, on that setup, it could have cost them as he hesitated for a second and then stayed back. But for Sathew.